Hey guys, Bobby here. Welcome to another edition of Bobby at Home. Um, today I would like to. A uh, while well, back I did a series to um, what what happened to Stephen Floyd and Ruth Ann on the Torkel set. Um, I am we currently right. Well, believe it or not, I actually been so curious. I wrote a letter to Walt Disney Company. Uh, trying to get explanation about it, and I'm waiting for them to hear back. In the meantime, I thought since I actually have uh, been behind on conspiracy theories, I can come up with another conspiracy theory that happened. This one's a little more darker than the other one, and kind of sad. So, we don't like sad ones. Let's try to Google my other video. This is a happy one. This is a sad, that one's a happy one. This one's sad. Okay, so, alright, so, um, why don't we, now, the, this one involves something with character being in the comatose, I say. Now, the fourth one could be that Stephen Floyd is in the comatose state. In the last episode of the original series, before they moved to Seattle, it was announced that, like, four of the kids were going to go to camp. So on a camping trip, Stephen Floyd fell into a coma, right? That would make sense why he's not seen in there, right? And like, um, and like, and like, um, the other kid, the other kids, Dorothy, Jane, Chucky, Lee, and um, what's it? Ruth, Ruth, Ann all come to visit him in the hospital. Wow. Well, Millicent, I think, I think, um, come to visit him as well. Well, so, anyway, while he was, while he's at, while he was at camp, he got the cross on this girl named Molly, I think. His camp counselor for that trip was a young man named Gregory, I think. Well, Clint, because they were there at the time it happened, they always kind of visit him in the hospital. So apparently there were, apparently like, like the the Mr. Morgan character is actually the doctor waiting on him. So coincidentally, the doctor has a daughter named Molly and a son named Gregory. So in his head, the kid, in his head, is he seeing his family? Moving to Seattle, I think, and living with Gregory, Gregory, his counselor, and Molly, his crook. And he connects them because they have the same name as the doctor to be the father all living together. His family's telling him different different stories of things that happened while he was while um while they were away. Because in this series, they really did move, I think. And this is all in his head. Now the only problem is this theory still wouldn't for this theory to work. It wouldn't explain how like Rufat Rufan isn't seen, but like I have an idea like that like Rufan like this doesn't show up that much. I think when he does show up, he he always shows up in the body of someone of someone else. I think so. There's this one girl who would whose name was Sam was in this one episode, or this other friend of Dorothy Jane, I think. Her name really also wasn't Ruth Ann on the show. That was actually, that was actually the name that she was, was changed to when Mal, Mal, when I, not Molly, sorry, Millicent and Randy divorced. Now, second person who could be in the series, Corby. Is this character named Corby who had a cross on Dorothy J? Well, I thought, what if when Do when the family was leaving, he couldn't take it anymore, and except that Dorothy J Jane wasn't going to be his anymore, so he jumped off the roof to commit suicide. When he did, he only got as far as being in a coma, because he shot Chucky Lee and Mary, and Mary, yeah, Mary Sue, I think he knew what they looked like. Now, I know there's at least one episode where he did see Stephen Floyd and move fast, but because he's so into Dorothy Jane, he never paid attention to what they would look like. He did, however, pay attention to the younger one, 
to the young ones because he tried to talk to them to to get Dorsey James' attention. So like, so like, but like, so sometimes when you hear what a person looks like, you pick to somebody else. I think like, but I don't know how often it happens with you. But for me, it happened with Michael Stipe once. I never, if you could see the difference between how he really looks and how I figured him, you'd say what? Well, anyway, so he picks a, he picks a Rue fan, I think, like, perhaps as a poorly head brunette, I think, I think, and Stephen, and Stephen Floyd as, like, as, like, a, a dark head talk. A dark head guy who plays basketball. I I don't really know how to describe him. That's I'm, that's really bad and stuff. But anyway, like this is his. Well, coincidentally, the doctor still has these kids named Gregory and Molly. I think. So somehow the doc, whenever they're coming to, to visit him and hopes to revive him, he always gets sent. He always is seeing them in a comatose state. And always talk, and always hearing about the advances for this thing. Now, what also? Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Okay, I know you must. Why are you so obsessed with finding an answer? I am not. Well, okay, maybe I am, but I, I, I just think it must deserve an explanation. You think Wikipedia would have? But. But anyway, the Siri could actually work because on the first short look, the CGI looked more like a sitcom, and when they moved to Seattle, the C the CGI was changed to look more like a soap opera. So that is the entire Siri, and I think it's a pretty good one. It's probably not true, but I think it's a good one. So there you go. Hope you like it. You have a good day.